Yeah, it's been known for many years that um, child sexual exploitation has been a big problem, not just within Keighley, but the whole of the Bradford district. And one of my predecessors, Anne Cryer, when she was the MP for Keighley, did a lot to bring this issue into the public domain. Um, but the reality of it is since since then, over the last 20 years, there's been no real traction, in my view, to properly get to grips and deal with child sexual exploitation, gang-related grooming. Um, and I do feel um, that this issue has been, in effect, swept under the carpet for far too long. And uh, those organisations um, that have, de have had dealings with uh, child sexual exploitation cases have um, not been held to account as robustly as they should have been done for for a number of years. And the reality of it is, unless we do that, we cannot move forward by providing that trust back into the victims and those families that have unfortunately been um, exploited through child sexual exploitation, gang related grooming for too long. Now, R Robbie, I know that you've been campaigning for an independent inquiry into, into grooming and child sexual exploitation across the Bradford district. What, what, why do you want to see that happen? What, why is that so important to you? Well, it's, it's absolutely important that we have a full Rotherham-style inquiry into child sexual exploitation across the Bradford district. And the reason why is because we have to install trust back into society that those organisations that have failed, let's be honest about that, failed the most vulnerable in our communities for too long, are held to account. We have to get to grips on the complexities of child sexual exploitation and why areas like uh, the Bradford district, like Keighley, have been impacted by this, this issue, this awful issue that has haunted the, uh, places like Keighley for far too long. And, and until we understand the scale of that within the communities that I represent, and we understand properly the complexities and understand the, why those organisations have failed, um, we can't move forward, in my view, and a, a full Rotherham-style inquiry would enable us to, to move forward. Robbie, one thing that Charlie, who's made this documentary, said, which I found um, deeply disturbing, was that he undercovered there was a class issue here, that these young girls were deemed as maybe lower class, working class, but basically an underclass, and therefore maybe they didn't seem worthy of all of this uh, work that needs to go into solving this issue. Did you come across that, a class issue? Well, I think that's certainly potentially one of the elements that um, that people uh, that have been sexually exploited um, and got into um, criminal um, child criminal exploitation for a long period of time have not been listened to because they've not been deemed worthy of being listened to, which is completely wrong, absolutely wrong. But I suspect that is. Um, one of the issues, but also I think political correctness has got in the way here. And I think we have to be frank about that for far too long. Because if you look at the statistics, there is no proper data collection on the ethnicity of those that have been con um, convicting, uh, sorry, carrying out the, this crime, but also the ethnicity data collection of those uh, victims. And until we get to grips with some of these complex cases and understand why, um, they, these cases have been allowed to um, exacerbate over a long period of time. You know, this is decades that this has been allowed to carry on and we've not been holding local authorities like Bradford Council to account for long enough. We've not been holding to, uh, the police to account uh, for long enough. Um, we can't provide that trust back Robbie into Moore. those organisations.